In one of your funds, you do have a 4% uh, stake in General Electric. Uh, what do you think should happen to the company? Break up, spin off, what do you think? Well, that's a very good question. I think, you know, clearly in the last decade, GE has been horrifically run. And I think there is a completely new management team in place that is really working hard to take what is really a strong collection of businesses and to create the most shareholder value. And I think this is the real key. The businesses that they have, you know, for medical systems, the jet engine, these are very strong businesses. In many cases, they are industry leaders. They just need to be properly managed. We believe that management team is in place. However, 10 years of mismanagement takes time to clean up. And, but, but we think ultimately there's strong businesses underneath and there's a good management team that is very capable of cleaning these things up. Whether they decide to sell or spin off some of these things, it's really up to the board of directors. But we are confident that the management that's in place of GE today will be able to extract the maximum benefit for the owners given the quality of the underlying businesses. Well, and that's the question, David. Obviously, it is up to the board uh, to decide what to do. But as you describe it, there is value that is not being reflected right now, you believe, in the yes. stock price. There are stronger businesses underlying the overall arching company. When you look at a company, whether it's General Electric or another, how do you decide whether you're better off going with the individual businesses that are strong, or are they stronger together? What is it that would make them stronger together than individually? Now, you know, this is a good question because sometimes when you look at, um, you think that you are have a safety net because three out of the four businesses are extremely strong in any type of a company. But sometimes that fourth business that's weak is heavy enough to cut right through that safety net. We've seen this before. Now, in the case of GE, the question is really the power systems business and whether this will, in fact, um, you know, hurt or mask the strength of the others. We think ultimately they will get to the bottom of the power system problems. But now, yes, you have to determine, does it make any sense to have these all together? And I think this is why you should have a strong board, an analytical board that questions management, that really makes decisions that leads to the greatest value creation over the medium and long term. We're not the type of owners who just want a quick hit, a quick share price uh, increase over six months, 18 months. What we're looking for in a business is sustainability of value creation. And really that is the board of director and the management working together. This is their job. If in our view, uh, you know, we don't have this, we try not to invest in the business.